Steve, strange type of game. You started off brightly, then it kind of got dragged into a fight and then controlled the second half. Yeah, I think the first 20 minutes we were as good as we were against Watford. And in spells in the second half at Northampton, we were very good. We needed a goal. We didn't take the two or three good chances that come. And, and then top of that, we got in some really good areas and the final ball wasn't quite there today. And then there was a couple of breaks in play, weren't there? We, players going down injured, which was taking forever. And the tempo in the game stopped, and, and that obviously suits Shrewsbury if you're here. And um, I think at every opportunity, the, the game was getting dragged to being a marathon rather than a 90 minute football battle, if you like. Um, I thought I went in a half time. We tried to sort one or two little bits. I think they started the second half a little bit, a bit brighter than us. I think it took us that 10, 15 minutes, almost a difference um, to the first half, the opposite, if you like. But then we grew into the game. We hit the ball, we had a few off the line. It was it was a question of when we scored, not if we scored. Um, but we'll, you know, we've got three points. There's, n there's nothing more than that for, for beating Shrewsbury. But we've, we've done really well. We're limited in numbers, as people know. Um, but so we've done really well. First goal for Aaron Presley, and it was the results of some good patient build-up play. Yeah, some good play. I think seven or eight passes. Brilliant ball in from Luther and a, and a sweet finish to be fair. I think it might have taken a ricochet in the way in. Um, but two or three of the lads behind the rub on that was saying it was going in anyway. It was it was sweetly struck, so it was it was going to beat the keeper. Um, so he'll take that. And then obviously the, the second one, they're they're all preoccupied with Pierre Janney and that we um that wee small guy called McDonald gets up above everyone and heads it. So but it's a it's it's a good performance in spells and lots to work on in others. Is McDonald claiming that? Because Jamie Reid spun away celebrating as if it was his goal and we weren't quite sure. Yeah, I think it's Jamie Reid's goal. I think I think um, Maka takes great credit that he was out jumping the other defenders that Pierre Janney couldn't. But uh, you know, Pierre Janney's unlucky not to have four goals today, and he's every set play he's getting hauled to the ground all over the place. Maybe one or two decisions didn't go in our favour. But today was a difficult game. It was disrupted when it the referee Craig Hicks is a good referee goes goes down injured. And, and to be fair, it's very difficult for the assistant to come on and get into the tempo of that game. Uh, but I, I think the officials tried as best they can to to let it go today. But I thought at one point we could be in here till midnight because the minutes kept getting added on, didn't they? So, um, but we, we've got three points. We'll, we'll refocus and, and get ready for Tuesday. Some huge individual performances out on the pitch today. Yeah, listen, I, I, could, I could name individuals that are friend from that uh, against Watford, against Northampton. Um, we've got players really battling hard to, to cement the starting place in the team. And we just said to them, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully strengthen in the next 24 hours to add to the group. Does it mean better players? Not means players to come in and compete with the boys we got. We don't, we don't sign the, the soap brigade. And, and our mission is really tough, you know. I think one of the Shrewsbury lads said it then to one of my staff, good luck staying up. You know, that's that's probably where people see us in the league. So we, we just also add that as a little bit of incentive to ourselves. Second against third on Tuesday night. Ah, scary. Isn't it? What a wonderful result they've had. But I like the manager. Got a lot of time from. I love going to Cambridge. But families, everyone knows that support Cambridge United. They'll be in the they'll be in the home end. Give me pelters. Um, but now it's a it's a good contest. They've got good players. The recruitment's good. Paul Digby's a wonderful talent. I think he scored today for a wonderful talent in the middle of the park for them. I had Paul for a while. Um, but the the good people. A good. It'll be a good contest. We. It's going to be tough for us now. We go to Cambridge and. We go to Reading. We we think we've had a tough introduction to the season. Three of the first four games, newly into League One. I don't think the others have got that. They got promoted. But there we go. We just to try and deal with it. A few knocks today again. Any injury news with the players that are out and those that played today? No, they were, they're the only one today. The only one that gives a cause of a concern for Tuesday was Luther. He just, but he felt his hamstring tightened. But Aaron Presley felt his groin tightened in training yesterday. When we removed him from training, and he and he said it was just a tightness. He was good to go today. I, I, he definitely had something to walk with about. He's he's infectious. He's what right? His commitment, his effort, and I could say that about all of them. We've we told our players in pre-season. I reminded them last week, and I remind them this week and next week and the week after is that our DNA is about working hard. We represent the town of Stevenage, a hard-working class town, if you like, and that's how our teams are set up to play. Same as same as when I was at Rotherham and same at Leeds. Well done today, Steve.